President Trump calling for an end to the hate after two mass shootings in two days claimed 31 lives. It's one of many calls going out tonight as people across the nation try to make sense of what happened in Texas and right here in Ohio. We have team coverage of the mass shooting in Dayton. Chief Investigator Ron Regan has been digging into the shooter's past. Well, we begin with Amanda Van Allen, who is live in Dayton, a community now looking to heal. Well, Danita and Rob, some folks are just trying to put these pieces together, but for so many, it is still just too soon. Now behind me is just one of the many memorials growing here in the Oregon District, a wreath for most of the victims who are no longer with us. A community in mourning, vigil after vigil for the beautiful nine souls taken too soon. First, Thousands gathered in the Oregon District Sunday evening to pay their respects to all of the victims. We need to stand by our brothers and sisters that are out here today showing how wonderful their spirit and their love is. Then students and faculty alike poured into Wright State University's Student Center to say goodbye to Megan Betts. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound always happy, always bright and smiling. And if she saw you were in a bad mood, uh, she worked her absolute hardest to make sure, sure you were smiling by the end of the conversation. While Megan was the sister of the shooter, her friends want her to be remembered for more than just that. She was an environmental studies major ready to change the world. This is what democracy looks like. As their wounds begin to heal, folks are pushing for gun reform. Grieving is a process, and we've had great sadness over the last many hours, but now it's really turning to anger. Anger about the lack of movement on gun control. Now, Governor Mike DeWine will be back here tomorrow. He was here on Sunday night for that vigil, and lots of folks in the crowd were very tough on him, shouting, do something, meaning they want something passed on gun reform. We are live tonight in Dayton, Ohio. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.